हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू यू जी सी नेट ऑनलाइन फ्री कोचिंग ऑलरेडी आई हैव डिस्कस्ड टू ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन इन डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड फोर टूडे आई विल डिस्कस ट्वेंटी वन टू थर्टी क्वेश्चन इन डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड फोर ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वाट आइटम इज एट द रूट आफ्टर द फॉलोइंग सिक्वेंस ऑफ इंसर्शन इन टू एन एम टी स्प्लेटरी before looking this uh, question first you try to know what is splay tree a splay tree is a self adjusting binary tree with the additional property that recently accessed elements are quick to access again means this is also a special kind of tree as like avl tree but it is special property is recently accessed elements are quick to access again means it is stored like in web cache exactly this tree is useful for this tree for this question uh, come to now you are clear about what is play tree play tree is a special kind of tree it is a it is like a, it is a special kind of binary tree but one additional property is recently accessed elements are quick to access again but this question is what item is at the root after the following sequence means after inserting this first 1 11 3 10 10 like that after inserting this is as like all operations like evil tree after inserting what is the element for this one just refer this link techno technion dot ac dot in hyphen uh, sorry uh, attack it i for after inserting all the elements you will get a root element is 2 so answer is b as for a time constraint i will not discuss in detail how exactly uh, constructing this play tree please go through this uh, this link first link Uh, you will get uh, because it is animated video. You will get you will clear your doubts. And for the video uh, for the detail notes, just go to this link. Second link, you will get uh, what is play tree and uh, with examples. Okay, we'll see next question. Twenty two. Oh, somewhat it is lengthier, but it's very simple if you know how to solve. Suppose we are implementing quadratic probing with the hash function. Actually, hash y is equal to x mod 100. If an element with the key 4594 is inserted and the first three locations attempted are already occupied, means first three locations are occupied, then the next cell that will be tried is. Okay, we'll see how to solve this question. You know already what is the how to solve probing with the hash function. Uh, this is standard formula. H key is equal to key percentage table size. The given key is already given 4594 and x mod 100. X mod 100. X is given key that is 4594 mod 100. So 4594 mod 100 will get a 94. Remainder is 94. So uh, next here remainder is 94 and first three locations attempted are already occupied means first three locations already occupied now you got according to key you got location is 94 but you need to add three locations since the first three locations are already occupied so next cell will be 94 plus 3 97 so answer is 97 given is as y is equal to x mod 100 You know the formula. Just substitute the key value mod 100. You'll get the remainder is 94. Since the first three locations are already occupied, so next to 94 plus 3 is 97. I hope uh, you will clear this question. How to solve this one? So answer is D. We'll see. I hope you will clear uh, this this type of questions. If you have any query, just mail me. weighted graph 
you know already what is weighted graph uh, a simple definition they are asked weighted graph is uh, the number or weight associated with the edge that is weighted graph so uh, before looking at the options uh, these type of theoretical questions you first find the what is weighted graph then look at the answers first is is a bi directional graph it is irrelevant is directed graph no it is also irrelevant is graph in which number associated with the arc so answer is c i have told you many times before looking at the options first clear your doubts according to question then look at the options once you look at the options you'll get the you start confusions before your conclusion you will get a confusion so first read the question find the answer according to your weight then look at the options okay so answer is it's a direct question simple definition weighted graph is a graph which has number with its edge so number associated with the edge that is weighted graph so answer is c now what operations is supported in constant time by the doubly linked list but not by the singly linked list so doubly linked list you know already it is you may move forward or backward in it is possible on, in only doubly linked list because all other operations insert insert delete view uh, all operations are similar in both singly linked list and doubly linked list are common only doubly linked list special operation is you may go it back node it is only special feature in doubly linked list so look at the answer the first option is advanced no it is uh, irrelevant backup so appropriate answer is backup next we'll see first and retrieve first retrieve advanced it is irrelevant so answer is b backup okay so has the pointer to both the directions in doubly linked list uh, they are specified what operations is supported in constant time by the doubly linked list but not by the singly linked list means it is supported only doubly linked link list but not singly linked. that is backup Op option is b how much extra space is used by heap sort extra space so uh, this type of question definitely they will ask every year at least one or two questions based on time and space complexity before looking this question you will see one standard table sorting algorithms and complexities so bubble sort it will time complexity is big of n square because two loops are running so space complex in place big of n extra space is big of n so common is almost all the sorting al algorithms extra space is big of n except uh, merge sort and uh, insertion sort and in place is big of n so keep in your mind almost all algorithms extra space is big of 1 in in place is big of n okay so the, uh, please go through this table it's very important uh, now go to the 25th question how much extra space is used by heap sort that is big o of n auxiliary space required by heap sort is big o of 1 almost bubble quick all are uh, auxiliary space required in extra space is big o of 1 keep in your mind it's not big o of n okay so uh, please uh, look at this table and practice it Mm, just remember all the algorithms time complexity and space complexity now we'll go for 26th question error control is needed at the transport layer because of potential errors occurring from out of sequence delivery this is before looking at the options you should be perfect uh, option is uh, now look at the option is c sequence delivery so for this question uh, it is a famous book just go through this um, link you will get a um, all question uh, previous year question paper with solution it is in google book uh, book drive just go through this 
link so 26 question is error control is needed at the transport layer because of potential error occurs from out of sequence delivery so straightforward question there is no need of explanation so we'll go for 27th question making sure that all, all the data facets of a message are delivered at the destination is loss control actually we will see error control sequence and duplication before looking at the option this is loss control what is loss control loss control is the process of ensuring all pockets have reached destination on without destruction of packet so 27th question straight forward it is option is b loss control is not error control in examination you did simple mistakes it is option is a you are in hurry you will mark it as a it is not answer a it is b loss control loss control is the process of ensuring all packets have reached destination on without destruction of packet so answer is b okay we'll see next one 28th question this is uh, very important question 28 and 29 two questions ask the same transport uh, classes uh, two questions asked 28th question and 29th question before looking this uh, 28th and 29th question we will see this table transport classes it's very important osi model defines five types of transport classes first transport class is simple class second one basic error recovery class transport class 2 is multiplexing class transport class 3 is error control error recovery and multiplexing class transport 4 is error detection and recovery class if you know these five classes you can answer two questions uh, in 2004 ask two questions sequentially 28th and 29th question so very important which classes is used to depend on the five types of service required by the upper layer the transport layer tries to match these requests to the available networking services so transport 0 class and transport 2 class perfect network layers perfect network layers use transport class 0 and class transport class 2 be careful so transport class 0 and transport class 2 is perfect network layer loss of packets are data is 0 and transport class 1 and transport class 3 is use residual error network residual error network used transport class 1 transport class 3 and transport class 0 and transport class 2 is perfect network layers be careful keep in your mind sometime it is it, transport class 4 is used to unreliable network layers transport class 4 provides reliable full duplex and connection oriented service similar to trans, uh, transmission control protocol in tcp ip model these all are very important for your computer exam point of view so now we will see question number 28 okay what is your 28th question which transport class should be used with the perfect network layer now you just you have seen perfect network layer is transport class 0 and transport class 2 and residual error network trans, uh, class uh, option is b that one is uh, transport class 1 transport class 3 so uh, 28th question is option a transport class 0 and transport uh, transport class 2 perfect network layer loss of pockets or data is 0 so uh, if you know the table we can easily answer these type of questions next one option is a 29th question which transport class should be used with the residual error network so you can easily answer now class b residual error network is transport class 1 and transport class 3 i hope you enjoy these classes uh, if you like please subscribe uh, subscribe the channel and share it uh, please inform your friends uh, 
now we'll see the question number 30 virtual circuit is associated associated with a gas service virtual circuit is associated with a connection oriented service before looking at the option you should uh, conclude conclude your answer because virtual circuit always associated with connection oriented in connection oriented service connections is established with the help of virtual circuit subnet means connection oriented service connections is established with the help of virtual circuit subnet each time when packet is transferred for different connection virtual circuits are made used once connection is established pockets are follows the virtual path to reach destination means once if connection is established then it will follow the virtual path so virtual circuits are associated with connection oriented service i i have told you many time before looking at the option first you should come conclusion then look at the option and select appropriate one because two are more uh, sometimes two answers both are right but in that situation you select suitable one so in this virtual circuit is associated with the connection oriented service so option is d thank you for watching please subscribe the channel thank you one and all